Yeah, the vampires in this are really grotesque. The whole, the way the master looks, the way the stingers look, really, 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 really gross. When I was a kid, I read a book on vampirism. And one of the things that struck me the most is that in Eastern Europe, the vampire is depicted as having a stinger under the tongue, like a bee. And it stayed with me, and I used it on Blade. I wanted to use it on Kronos, and it stayed in my head, and I've never been able to do it the way I wanted to do it, out of technical limitations or out of creative limitations. So the strain is the first time I can fully approach vampires. So it's a combination of the scientific and the gothic. Every body who turns into a vampire is scary and, uh, and dangerous. They are part of the master, almost an extension of the master, and sometimes they speak with the master's voice. The master can speak through them. Jim. There are vampires, and then behind them, there is a conspiracy. Um, but the conspiracy is rooted in understandable and believable human motivations. We've got the master, who is the real sort of uber villain, and he has various allies, both living and undead. It seems like the master can move the Strigoi at will, like pieces on a chessboard. But then he sort of chooses certain people once they've turned to have some agency, like Ikors, like Kelly. There's a sort of a constantly varying degree of consciousness that they retain. 